Hi guys, so I wasn't sure what to do for my second video because I haven't really done anything important. So I just had a few people ask me questions and um, I decided that I should at least make a video about it. It's something to do, right? <laughs> and so I'm going to answer these the best I can, but I, I don't know how well I'm going to do because it's kind of hard to explain sometimes. And I'm going to try not to offend anybody because I have this tendency to offend people by accident. So <laughs> here we go anyway. What habits or attitudes do you have that are not Western? And which habits or attitudes do you have that are not Japanese? Some of the things I do that aren't Western is I apologize a lot. I I don't know, just <laughs> I've been told this is Japanese. I don't really know if it's really a Japanese thing, but I've been told that I since I apologize for everything, a lot of my friends say, Stop being so Japanese about it. It doesn't matter. Stop apologizing. I'm just I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. I also have a habit of um, every time I go over to somebody's house, I always have to greet their parents, and people think it's weird. <laughs> and I just feel like I should, you know, I'm going to be in the house, I should say hello and ask them how they are and just be nice. <laughs> I also have to take my shoes off every time I go into somebody's house. It's just like a compulsion. I just do it automatically and it's odd for me when it's okay to walk on, you know, their carpet and stuff with shoes on. <laughs> um, hmm. Things that are fairly western. I think I'm fairly outspoken. I mean, I am, I'm shy, but when it's things that really matter to me, I'm fairly, you know, out there about it. And I don't hide it as much as I think Japanese people would. Um, when I have a problem or something, most of the time I will talk about it. When I know a lot of my um, Japanese friends don't want to do that because they, they're afraid that they're going to make people feel like they're mad at them for it. And I don't really think about that. I think, you know, if they're my friends, then it's okay to talk to them about it. But lately, since I've been talking to mostly my Japanese friends, I can kind of understand why it would seem like I'm yelling at them or why I'm mad at them. <laughs> but I guess I've never really watched that about me. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just, I'm a lot less worried about manners most of the time as I know a lot of my friends are really conscious about that so mm, I don't know I guess that answered a little bit of the question but I'm not really sure how to answer that <laughs> but um yeah. anyway do you watch a lot of anime or read a lot of manga what is your favorite I don't really but I like things like um, Gurren Lagann. I love Gurren Lagann. <laughs> it's so amazing. At the same time, though, I'm kind of like a, a complete romantic sap, and I love um, the live action, the manga, and the anime of Kimi ni Todake with um, Sawako and Hayakaze. And <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Those are the only two I'm like really oh my god about. I just like them so much. Um, you're really pale for an Asian mix. Can you tan? I can. Nobody believes it, but I can. It just it takes a while, and I never do it right. Like I'm inside for a long time. Like I will go from autumn all the way up until maybe half of summer before I go outside. So when I first go outside, halfway through summer, I'm not out there for like 15 minutes. I'm out there for like three hours. And then after that, I never go outside again. <laughs> not long enough to tan, 
so I get this massive sunburn and then my skin kind of my skin darkens and at that point I can tan but I never go outside again so nobody has ever seen me tan and I've only been tan like once when I was really little but if I did it properly I would go outside for like an hour every every day or every few days and then I, I can get tan I can darken <laughs> And I look like a different person, but I never do that. I'm just... I'm inside all the time, so... I, I don't like the outside. There's people out there. <laughs> um... Is there something that, even among Hoppas, you feel is different about yourself that you worry about? I feel sometimes weird, because a lot of the Hoppas I know have, like brown hair and I remember being in a room one time full of them like I just I wish I had brown hair because I was the only one in there that had like black hair then I stood out and it was kind of it was kind of funny because there was this sea of people with various shades of brown hair and then all of a sudden bang there is this dark spot right in the middle of them it was kind of funny <laughs> What do you think about people who say, Oh, now I see it, after you tell them you're Hoppa? Honestly, it's kind of irritating, because if you really saw it, then you wouldn't have had to wait until I told you. So it's just kind of, hmm, sure you do. Okay. I don't know, I think it's probably because they're not exactly looking for it, but they have... Because, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of irritating. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. And the last one that I'm going to do, because this is already way too long. What do you think about people who pretend to be Japanese but are clearly white, black, or non-Asian? I think whatever floats to your boat. I mean, I don't see any point because you don't really gain anything from it. I mean, you can say, but I mean, saying that doesn't mean you automatically know Japanese. It doesn't mean that you automatically know everything about the culture. You don't really gain anything from saying that you're Japanese, except a few people that say, oh, hey, that's not, that's, that's not, you know, usual. That's kind of cool. And then probably the embarrassing moment of when somebody tries to talk to you in Japanese and you're just like, I have no idea what you're saying. Because there, there was this time um, where I met this girl and she didn't look Japanese. She didn't look Kappa, but I don't either. So I, I, do, I don't, you know, automatically say, hey, you're lying. So I went up to her and I started talking and she just gave me this look and she turned away from me and then she turned back and she's like, why are you such a fake? Quit pretending you don't even know what you're saying. You just said you like to eat chairs. And I'm like, you didn't say I like to eat chairs? I don't know. You still said I don't know. What is she going on there? You said, no. No. But stuff like that is probably going to happen a lot, and I really don't see the benefit of it. And I think people in Japan think it's a lot cooler if you aren't Japanese and you go there and you can, you know, speak some Japanese and you just seem really cool. Um, but one of the annoying things, a little bit off topic about Japan, is if you ask them something in Japanese and you don't look Asian, like full Asian, they will respond to you in English, and I just, I feel so bad because I feel like as a foreigner I'm obligated to understand them, and I just, I don't know, I don't know what they're saying, so, I just, I'm like, oh, okay, thank you, and leave, and then I have no idea where I'm going, like, um, I asked them where a McDonald's was one time, and they were like, oh, oh, McDonald's. 20, 20 miles, 20 miles, left, turn, and right, and I'm like, what? <laughs> um, 
and uh, then I, t I turned back to them after being really confused and I was like, no, I'm going to eat. And they're like, no, 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 okay, okay, just 12 mile, 12 mile and turn your left and then turn your right. And I'm like, I don't know, how is a McDonald's 12 miles from here? We're in Tokyo. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that that's just all I'm going to talk about today because I'm just really rambling and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, hopefully next time I'll have something more interesting because I'm going to be quite busy. So, um, I can't wait. I'm going to try harder, I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.